I know firsthand the nature of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and I can say with certainty there will be no peace unless the occupation ends and the Palestinian state is established under mutually agreed upon terms. By taking unilateral actions, including recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, and giving Israel a green light to expand existing and regularize other settlements, while nodding to the annexation of Palestinian land, Trump has scuttled what's left of the peace process. Trump's so-called deal of the century is dead upon arrival. No one should hold their breath waiting for the unveiling of the deal because there's nothing in it for the Palestinians to warrant any consideration. If Trump genuinely cares about Israel, he should have from day one in office fully supported the two-state solution. However, given the intense distrust and hatred between Israel and the Palestinians, he should have known that under no circumstances can the two sides simply restart negotiations and reach an agreement. They must first engage in a process of reconciliation through people-to-people -people interaction in support, art, development project, tourism, etc. and end their rancorous public narrative to build trust and mitigate hatred. The Palestinians must end their threat of violence and Israel must stop its creeping annexation, night raids, home demolition, and legalizing settlement. Together, this will create the atmosphere necessary to negotiate peace. Many Israelis reveal Trump for what he has presumably done for Israel. Unlike Obama, they maintain, he puts no pressure on Israel stop the settlement enterprise, advance the two-state solution, or ease the harsh condition of occupation. Instead, he showered them with gifts, gave them Jerusalem, punished the Palestinians for refusing to negotiate, recognized the annexation of the Golan Heights, and let Netanyahu be Netanyahu, the chief obstructionist of peace, who undermined Israel's long-term national security. Well then, if this is what the Israelis who adore Trump wanted, they deserve him lock, stack, and barrel. He isn't Israel's protector, but perpetrator, that the Israelis enjoy the illusion about him while it lasts.